Oh, cool. We're back as her. We're going to see Ethan again? Most likely. If he's not dead on the floor with his blood just dripping slowly from his his dead, cold body. <laughs> it's a great way to start off the episode. And he just randomly... And just the door is conveniently opened halfway for me to see Ethan lying on the floor. Oh, my God. Am I dead? Oh, my God. I'm not dead. Oh, my God. What happened to him? I don't know. I'm just going to stand here and think. He's unconscious. He's bleeding. Shit. What could have happened to him? Oh, there's a lot of things. Calm down, girl. There must be something I can do to help him. I gotta call a doctor. I can't just leave him like this. So she's just the doctor for this, basically. She's just playing doctor while I go out and risk my life to save my son. Well, we, we, need, we need a doctor. We, we need a doctor. I was gonna say, you know, put him on his bed. But, you know, we, 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 can, we can just, you know. Oh, alright, we actually are. <laughs> Come on, Ethan. Get up, big boy. Look, we're gonna beat to bed, we're gonna get you some medicine, you can take a shower, you can watch some late night TV, I'm sure Jimmy Fallon's got some cool stuff to say, and then you can go out and you can do the next test to save your son, alright? Alright. Maybe some Big Bang Theory, I don't know what you're into. Ethan. Ethan, can you hear me? Nope. Okay, uh, we gotta get him some medicine. Wait, 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 should I? I should. <laughs> she thinks- Origami figures. What is he doing with them? Oh, uh, she thinks I'm- I shouldn't have actually. Uh, now she's gonna question- She's gonna question- She's gonna think I'm the origami killer. Um, what do I do? Do I leave? There is like... No. Go out? No. I got no thoughts in my head. I got a clear head today. Ethan, you got more stuff to say? Maybe I could just walk out. Your arms look really bad. I need to disinfect your wounds. Jesus. You've got a hell of a fever. Uh, I did crawl through broken glass, Madison. Are those burn marks on your chest? Yes. Yes, they are. I'm gonna have to get your clothes off to disinfect those wounds. No, oh, I don't want to see this, but we're going to have to. You ready to see some nude wounds? Shh, it's not that bad. I mean, well, well, except for the giant ass red mark on his nipple. But besides that, I think we're good. Those are serious burns. I don't know if I can do anything for you. Oh, well, I ain't seen a doctor, so just do what you need. All right, um... Okay. <sighs> The first thing is to keep calm. I'm gonna give him first aid. Just give him everything. Give him every little vial. Yeah. I'm no doctor, but I'll do what I can. Hmm. First, we apply some ointment to the to the to the to the red ass nipple. This uh this helps to uh to s oh we gotta do it slowly all right. This helps prevent infection and it also calms down the wound. Mister Ethan Mars likes it that when I re when I do that. <laughs> all right. Can't put on a bandage. Damn it! Did ease the pain. Gotta treat the wounds first. Painkiller. I ain't a doctor, but... Hmm. 
Nice person, Madison, isn't she? Taking care of little old Ethan. Oh. That's okay. Slowly. Slowly. I'm going so slowly. So I don't hurt you. All on my own. <laughs> going as fast as I can. Change. <laughs> Your wounds are disinfected. All right. Need more medicine. Uh, anti fever. Hey, that makes me feel better. I can go on my next mission. I can do what I want. I do what I want. I have my own stunts. Bandages. I don't want to freaking get addicted to painkillers. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, we still... Oh, we still have to keep doing it, all right. Well, it's... The prompt is not on screen. What do you expect me to do? Alright, like I said, take a shower, watch from Jimmy Fallon, you'll be good as new. <laughs> Maybe Jimmy Kimmel? You know? I don't know what you watch. What, what, what do they have over in that American ass place? <laughs> That's all I can do. How do you feel? It's a lot of bandages. Ethan? Don't die on me, Ethan. He's unconscious. Now I'll just have to wait. Hope he wakes up. Fun. Let's play the waiting game. The hell did we just gonna leave him? Nope. <laughs> Screen keeps dimming out, so I don't know if I have to finish or not. Probably isn't helping the fact that she is she already has trouble sleeping as it is. Don't go in another six month coma, Ethan. How do you feel? <clears throat> that That's sounds better. good. Was I out for long? About three hours. Why the guardian angel act? You don't even know me. Hmm. You didn't really leave me any choice. I couldn't just leave you like that. You said you were here because you're an insomniac? I, um... I've been going through a bit of a tough patch the last few months. It's the kind of stuff you prefer to Oh, forget. you could put a new shirt on. Just saying. I do what I can to live with it, but, uh... It's not easy. That's the second time I found you in a bad way. You always seem to be running for your life. What's happening, Ethan? Ah. You got any hypotenuses for me? You mixed up with the mafia? Owe someone money? Something like that? I'm, I'm seriously gonna go back out straight away. Listen, I'm truly grateful for your help. But for your own sake, I think it's better if you don't ask any questions. Maybe I could help you. No I... one can help me. 
You've already done a lot, Madison. Right. Huh. I'm gonna go. Cool. Cool. Take care. We're just gonna go straight, straight out to, uh, at it again. Next time, because there's always a next time. We're gonna get down. We're gonna get on the floor again. She's gonna take care of us, and we're gonna. She'll have to tell. Her, right? She probably already thinks that we're the freaking serial killer. Are you prepared to make a sacrifice to save your son? Okay. Okay. Cool. Um. Yeah. New chapter. All right. I'm gonna leave this episode here. <laughs> See you guys in the next one. Peace.